You've seen the hype, you've seen the viral hacking videos, you even heard of countries outright banning the Flippery Zero. And now you're wondering, is the Flippery Zero worth the money? In this video, I'll break down what the Flippery Zero does well, where it falls short, who should consider picking one up, and ultimately, if the price tag is justified. If you've been on the fence about picking one up, this video is for you. For those who only want the quick summary, here's what you need to know. The Flipper Zero is a pocket-sized multi-tool for hackers and tech enthusiasts. It can clone RFID and NFC cards, replay infrared signals, mess with Bluetooth devices, interact with sub gigahertz signals, and even run Wi-Fi attacks with an add-on dev board. It blew up because it's fun, beginner-friendly, and it's backed by a huge community who's building custom firmware, applications, and accessories, which makes the device more powerful over time. But here's the catch. The Flipper Zero is a jack of all trades and a master of none. There are specialized tools out there that can perform single tasks much better than what the Flipper Zero can do. While the Flipper Zero is great for tinkering and learning, it's not suitable for professional penetration tests. While it's incredibly fun, the Flipper Zero's charm starts to fade once you run out of your own devices to hack. Legally and ethically, that's all you're allowed to do. So the novelty can fade off fast unless you go deep in the community ecosystem and purchase additional accessories and other gadgets to hack. At the time of this recording, the price of the Flipper Zero is 199 US dollars. And in my opinion, that is totally worth it. Whether you are a beginner cybersecurity enthusiast or you're a hacking expert, there's something here for everyone. Just know that you should be buying this as a learning and tinkering device for fun rather than for professional use. If you go in with that mentality, you won't be disappointed. If that high level summary was all you needed, feel free to click out the video. But before you go, if you got any value out of this video whatsoever, do me a small favor and like the video and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. Now, for those who are sticking around for the full breakdown and want to become future elites in this field, let me quickly introduce myself for those who are new to the channel. Hello, my name is Kaiser Clark. I have been in the cybersecurity field for over seven years now, and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker. This stuff is in theory. This is what I do in the real world every single day. And I'm here to help you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. What is the Flipper Zero? Before we can judge if it's worth it or not, let's set the stage. The Flipper Zero is a pocket-sized multi-tool for hackers and tech enthusiasts. Think of it like a digital Swiss Army knife. It can read and clone RFID and NFC cards, like office badges or transit cards, capture and replay infrared signals using TVs, AC units, and projectors, mess with Bluetooth devices, interact with sub gigahertz wireless signals that's used in garage doors and key fobs, and if you pick up the Wi-Fi dev board, it can even run Wi-Fi attacks. That's a lot of functionality for one tiny device. It's no wonder why it went viral but the specs only tell part of the story. Why the Flipper Zero took off. The Flipper Zero is great. It lowers the barrier for beginners who want to experiment with hacking concepts that doesn't require a pro lab or expensive setup. You just pull it out of your pocket and start playing. But what really makes the Flipper Zero special is the community. Custom firmware, third party apps, and even hardware accessories take it way beyond what you get out of the box. The ecosystem is thriving, New tools and tricks appear all the time, which makes your Flipper Zero actually get more powerful the longer you own it. So if you're new to cybersecurity or you're just curious, the Flipper Zero is actually one of the most approachable entry points that money can buy. Where the Flipper falls short. Now here's the reality check. The Flipper Zero is a jack of all trades and a master of none. Every capability it has can be done better with a specialized tool. When it comes to RFID and NFC, dedicated readers and writers are faster and more reliable. For Wi-Fi attacks, the Wi-Fi Pineapple or an Alpha adapter with Kali Linux will run circles around it. In Bluetooth testing, you'll definitely need specialized adapters such as the Adafruit or Ubertooth One. The Flipper is fantastic for demos, tinkering, and learning, but when it comes to serious work, it quickly shows its limits. The charm fades over time. Now here's one thing that you won't hear in most reviews. The Flipper Zero can lose its charm after a while, and here's why. Legally and ethically, you can only hack your own devices or systems you have explicit permission to test. And once you clean your own RFID badge, replayed your own garage door remote, or spam your own Bluetooth speaker, you kinda are out of targets. 
unless you have an endless wallet and you can buy every IoT device off of Amazon. If you don't explore custom firmware or dive into the third party ecosystem, the novelty wears off fast. Personally, I haven't used mine much lately because I'm more focused on professional pen testing and not novelty hacking. That said, I don't want to make it sound like the Flipper Zero is a toy that you'll forget about after a week of using it. Many people keep the fun going by experimenting with community made add-ons and accessories. I just haven't tapped much into that side yet personally. So while the Flipper Zero is a blast at first, do not expect it to be endless entertainment unless you commit to exploring what the community has built around it or if you decide to contribute to the community yourself. Who the Flipper Zero is and isn't for. I can say with confidence that it's definitely for beginners, students, hobbyists, or anyone curious about ethical hacking. It's an amazing toy to learn the basics, impress your friends, and get a feel for what's possible. Heck, even professionals like me own one. I actually own two, mostly for fun and for experimenting. Actually, I take that back. I actually just sold this one to my friend and coworker. Shout out Jake Geyer, and I'm actually shipping it out tomorrow. And by the time this video releases, he should have this in his hands and I'm not going to have it anymore. So I'll be back to one. So who is it not for? I would say anybody who is expecting the Flipper Zero to be a professional grade tool. I've been on pen tests where I had to do Wi-Fi and Bluetooth testing for clients and the Flipper Zero just simply wasn't up for the task and I needed specialized tools to get the job done. A job that not even two Flipper Zeros could do. While I'm sure some professional pen testers have used a Flipper Zero in paid engagements, I don't think many professionals are using the Flipper Zero as their go-to gadget. So if you're buying it as a pro hacker seeker weapon, you're definitely going to be disappointed. And just to set expectations clearly, the Flipper Zero won't suddenly let you play watchdogs in real life. It's a fun learning tool, not a cyber gang hacking device, despite what the politicians who advocate that it should be banned may try to convince you to believe. Hacking isn't a crime, by the way, and I'm looking at you, YouTube. Stop striking down my videos. The price versus value. At the time of this recording, the price of the Flipper Zero is 199 US dollars. And once you add in accessories such as the Wi-Fi dev board and the video game module, the price quickly goes up. However, specialized equipment will cost you so much more. So it truly is the best bang for your buck hacking gadget right now. No other gadget has this many tools at this price point. But at the end of the day, the value really comes down to how much you will actually use the device. It's portable, fun, constantly updated, it sparks a lot of creativity, and for many people, it's their first step into cybersecurity. And for that reason alone, it's worth it. My final verdict. So, is the Flipper Zero actually worth it? And my answer is 100% yes, but with a big asterisk. It's absolutely worth it if you're a beginner, a student, or anyone who just wants a fun way to learn hacking concepts. It's a gateway into cybersecurity, and it's a great conversation starter. But if you're already a professional in the field and you're expecting to take the Flipper Zero into paid engagements, I wouldn't count on it. It's a novelty at the end of the day, not a workhorse. I'll be honest, part of the reason I bought my first Flipper Zero was the hype. Countries were banning it, it was sold out everywhere, and everyone felt a little rebellious, like having something rare that not everyone could get their hands on. That excitement was part of the appeal, but hype only lasts so long, and what really matters is whether it provides lasting value to you. At the end of the day, I recommend buying it for fun and for learning, not for professional hacking. If you go in with that mindset, you won't be disappointed. So is it worth it? Yes, yes, as long as you see it for what it is, a gateway, not a golden ticket. And if you're still curious about the Flipper Zero and you wanna see what the device is capable of, then you have to watch my video, How to Use Flipper Zero, Nine Uses You Need to Know. It's my most popular video for a reason, and it's gonna show you not only how to use a Flipper Zero, but it's gonna show you what's possible in the real world with this device. I'll do the link right here, go watch it next.